Hey everybody, Delta Boy Gaming with you back on another Freaky Friday video. Still playing some Dead Space. We just went to. Hello! Goodbye! We just went through and got the. Oh, nice little pirouette. Come on. Keep spinning. Wow. And oh. oh, that works too. That is all right. So, like I said, we just got the sample. We uh, we're clearing out a couple rooms of those little poison breathers or whatever they are. Zero G. Blades. All right. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the Code Vein demo. I played. You know, a good. Entering zero gravity. Thank you. Played a decent amount of it, and I, I'm definitely looking forward to. You know playing that game eventually. Um, I gotta clear out some of my backlog real quick. And we... Up. Oh, so I opened up some monsters. Come on. Where are you? There you are. And that's it. Uh, so also, lately, I've been watching on YouTube, there's this guy that he does these, like, 20-minute, uh, like, biographies of, like, famous people. Like, he's done um, some serial killers, you know, stuff like that, and... One of, them, one, of the, uh, one of them was Ed Gein. I watched that one. I watched his Alistair Crowley one. That one was weird. Like, it's just kind of weird that some of these, like, serial killers and, like, famous, like, strange, weird people, you know, that society deems them weird or whatever, they kind of have, like, these weird relationships with their mothers. Like, Alistair Crowley had, like, after his father died, he and his mother basically had this, like, weird toxic relationship where they, like, they lived in the same house, but they never talked to each other. But they, like, uh, what is the word for? Like, they shut themselves off from, like, outside society. It's just, like, it just is weird that it's, like... First time you put yourself out in society, which from time to time is not a bad thing. But at the same time, it's like, why? Like, you have this weird. You're living with your mom, but you don't talk to each other. And it's like you both like live in these like in this isolation kind of thing. It's what. Uh, it's also what happened with Ed Gein and Ed Gein. You know, he's the inspiration for the movie and the book Psycho, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I mean, Warning. air filtration system still active. Your filtration juice is extremely hazardous. Okay, but I have a feeling we're gonna have to do that. Okay. That door doesn't open. Something knocking? Audio log? Hello? Hello, security? Thank God. 
This is Dr. Croft in hydroponics. I'm trying to locate second engineer Jacob Temple. Uh, he's not I can't available get through to right engineering. Now. Of course I know there's a shipwide medical alert. That's why I'm trying to locate him. Wow, there's a lot of those. No, we're safe for now, but the tram is down and we can't reach the escape pods. Hello? 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 Go, 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 go. Okay. Yep. So I figured one of those is going to burn me. Alright, so that one's just out of order. Yeah, as I said, just be sure that. No, wait, 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 let him come. Let him come. Come on. No, you're faking that shit. There it goes. Oh, yeah. Triple blades. Some Japanese dude that I've heard of, and like it's like in the like the thumbnail, it shows what the guy looks like. And I know I recognize him, but I don't remember what he's done. Like there's I don't know, there's at least like five or six that I don't know the name, just like so kind of further my interest in serial killers and that kind of, you know, realistic horror. Am I... Am I hallucinating that song, or is that in my headset? Like, Isaac Clarke's headset. Warning. Ten kiloton detected in food storage. Hmm. And kilotons. Uh, the other the other day as well, I actually was uh, I watched the Joe Rogan podcast that he had on with Rob Zombie. That was a pretty good one. His new movie uh, had just come out, or at least was like in the uh, uh, events or whatever. But, uh, limited, uh, limited run. Man, I hate these little things. Get off me, get off me, get off me. Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, 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 no. Holy shit. Use, use. That sucks. Just die. 
Come on. Thank you. Okay, so I'm okay, I'm back where I was originally at. I'm just they just respawned some enemies. But for a second I was like, this looks familiar. Alright. Not gonna lie, I wasn't expecting that, but it wasn't much of a jump scare. Like, I think it was trying to, but I think I just wasn't, like... I was focused a little too hard to be, like, hit by it. Ugh, excuse me. Sorry. No, I should stop. Tried to, but... Nothing. Right. Let's deposit some items. Move, 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 move. How do I still not have that trophy yet? Oh well. 34,000! Alright, so we will buy... I need a couple of these. Spam this down to about 10 grand. That looks about right. 150, about roughly 150. That should be fine. That should be fine. Okay. So safe point here. Okay. But yeah, that uh, Rob Zombie. Um, podcast I mean like it, it was like so some of the stuff that they talked about was pretty cool like he worked on Wee's Playhouse as a production designer I believe and he was telling him he's telling Joe he was like he's always wanted to like make movies and like, they started talking about, uh, like, they, when they got onto the subject of movies, they were talking about, like, how Joe had showed his kids the uh, original, like, 32 or 33 to his mom. And, you know, his kids, they, I think he said they were, like, 5 and 3 or 6 and 4 at the time that they watched it. And he was just saying how, like... You know, he was saying this might be a little scary, but they ended up laughing at it because it just looked... I mean, it's, you know, stop-motion animation from the 30s when that thing was, like, brand spanking new. So it's understandable that it wasn't going to be like, oh my god, scary! And then they got onto the topic, and this is what kind of, like... I was kind of really, like, hooked in on it. It was like, think about, like... What is it? Alfred Hitchcock's Psycho, the original, um, King Kong, uh, some, some of those older movies, like... Vegetative anomalies detected in the East Grove Chamber. Where, you know, that is, like, the best we've got. Like, that's, like, the best animation, the best, like, special effects that we have for the time. And that blew people's minds. But now you got a lot of it's more of Okay, who what is it? What is it? Another bird! No, shoot, 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 shit! Oh god. Slow your ass down. Yeah. 
Off goes the arm. That's reload. And you're done. Power knife. But like, and then they start talking about how, like, with CGI that we have now, it's kind of become more of a crutch. And I, I kind of have to agree with it, because, I mean, if you really look at some of the movies that are out now, especially like the comic book movies, um, the Hobbit movies were a little bit more reliant on it than the Lord of... Uh, yeah, the Hobbit movies did more than the Lord of the Rings movies, <clears throat> where they're just standing in front of this green screen. You know, and they're just kind of looking at something. You know, they're looking at this dot on a green wall as opposed to, like, looking at a, a painting, a photo, a person, you know, something like that. And they talked about how, and I fully agree with this, that Alien is, like, the, one of the best movies when it comes to special effects. You know, because you have, you know, it was a guy in the alien suit, but you didn't see him all that often. There were a few spots here and there where you see him, but it was just so few and far between, or you, you know, if you did see the alien, it was like you saw him for that couple seconds, and then it was either the camera cut away or he disappeared. And it was the, you know, absolute practical effect. Same with um, John Carpenter's The Thing. That was another way. That's another great film that, you know, practical special effects that, you know, if they made it now, the alien would be CG. You know, whoever, you know, whatever main character. Okay, I'm hearing him, but I don't see him. Look here. But I mean, like, if they made, like, Alien now, it would be, you know, like Sigourney, if they, you know, Sigourney Weaver would do that. Sigourney Weaver would be, she'd be staring at, like, a tennis ball. You know, a tennis ball and a stick. Hydroponics log, Dr. Cross reporting. Something huge just slammed into the hole near food storage. It wasn't a rogue asteroid. I know what that sounds like. You know, and that, to me, it just kind of, you know, I see it more of a, well... It's easier and it's cheaper to do that. So, but you know what? I think I'm going to end this episode here. Please tell me there's a save point. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys next weekend. Have an awesome weekend.